how do you make a Ford Raptor even more impressive? Put a supercharger on it. Today we team up with Roush Performance to get the maximum power out of a stock Ford Raptor. You know, Matt, when you get your buddies together and have a few cocktails, you probably make some bad decisions. We do that all the time. Here's a case in point of Bo and Luke Duke doing just, <laughs> just that. I mean, hold on, we gotta back that up. Come oh, on. nice. Because right here, they're looking good. They're thinking, that's great. Hold on, Loretta. Yeah. Right there, they're thinking, oh man, I just trashed a $50,000 truck. That proves my theory that it's never the jump and it's always the landing, right? <laughs> That'll always get you. <laughs> it's gonna get you, dude. <laughs> well, today we have got a very cool truck on the set. It's not that same $50,000 truck that crashed, but no. a new version of. This right. is a 2013 Ford Raptor. It is Ford's version of what a Baja or a pre-runner should look like. And I'm gonna tell you something, if that's your thing, this is your truck. Yeah, these are pretty cool. And when you pick it up at the dealership, it's a stout truck runs good the suspension's dialed in everything's good but in true fashion you know it wasn't good enough for us we wanted to step it up a little bit so we got with the guys from Roush they've got a complete supercharger system that's tailor-made for this particular truck it starts over here with the intake the supercharger fuel rails elbow pulleys alternator throttle body intake we've got the radiator for the intercooler I mean this stuff is great and it's gonna do numbers in that truck man yeah big I mean numbers. big numbers because all these parts and pieces are gonna come together and take a truck that's pretty stout from the factory mm -hmm. at 411 horsepower and bring it up to a whopping 590 and 590 foot-pounds of torque this thing's really gonna come alive here's the deal I say we get this thing done I'll video it and you make that jump, make those guys look bad. <laughs> 10 or 15 years ago, you might have been able to talk me into that. But I like to think that I've gotten a little bit smarter as I've aged. Well, that's maybe. debatable. Man. You know, one thing that's True. nice is with all the power upgrades we're going to get in this truck, we're going to remain 50 state compliant. You know, a lot of times when you go to a hot rod shop or the little guy and have them do some mods for you, you leave there, you might pick up some horsepower gains, but it's not going to exactly be compliant. Guys at Roush, man, you don't have to worry about that. These guys get the job done and they do it in a legal way. So there's two things we needed to do before we can put that intake on, and one is bolt on this new pulley right here for the supercharger. The other is back on the back side of the motor. There's two little lines you can see coming off of the motor. One is a fuel line, one is a vapor line. And now a lot of people make the mistake and they'll get it mixed up and they'll actually cut the fuel line. Make sure you do the right line. This is the vapor and you won't have any problems. Now we can go ahead and put the intake in. Couple little things that we did on the intake before I hand this over to you, Bruno, is we've got our bubbler hose attached, right? So we hooked that up on the bottom. We've also got our boost gauge fitting right here. And you know what's cool is you look at the bottom side of this and we've got individual O-rings around our intake runner. So that's gonna be a little bit easier as far as the insulation goes than having a gasket right there that you could potentially mess up. Pardon me one second. Which I almost messed up my head on the grill, but I didn't. It was a no. close call. There you go. So this will just drop into place and like Matt said with those o-rings it makes it a lot easier because you're not fighting a gasket moving around looks good Here's something cool that you don't get to see every day, that is unless of course you work with these, but for the rest of us that don't, it's kind of neat to go ahead and flip this blower upside down and take a look at it. Now this is a root style TVS blower. You've got two rotors right here inside and they've got four lobes on each rotor and they spin perfectly with each other, right? And that's what's cramming the air down. Now take a look at this as it spins and that lobe hits the housing right there. Man, look at that like nothing zero tolerance you know i mean it's tight in there it looks like it's touching even though it's not but it's about as close as it can be without touching and that is one of the reasons this thing runs so efficiently the other thing too is that with a roots type blower you've got a bypass valve which is sitting right here what that allows you to do is bypass the boost that's going into the engine when you're at low idle or low rpm range like you're idling around town now if you've got a screw type charger you don't have that you're constantly under load from that supercharger what makes this so nice is it makes it streetable because you can save money at the pump it's running more efficiently at idle and then when you want to get after it this closes down and you're able to get all that boost into the engine and get all the power you want all right there you go now this is a little bit heavy yeah now what's nice about this is that you're not fighting a gasket but you do have an o-ring sitting right here you want to be careful that you don't tear that o-ring because if you do you're going to have a leak and boost so there we go it's oh. sit on the dowel pins i was huh? here for you dude i was like a pro as you can see right here, man, it's a nice tight package and it's gonna make a lot of power. 
So the next piece of the puzzle is our fuel rails and our upgraded injectors we got from Roush. Now one thing before you go to put injectors in, you always want to make sure that you lubricate the little O-rings right here on the injectors so when they go in they don't tear. If they do, you're going to have a massive fuel leak. So these will slide in, go right into our intake. And you'll need to notice that these injectors, they've been upgraded from factory. Roush makes 47 pound injectors they put in the system to compensate for the added boost and the more fuel you'll need to keep up with it. And that's where you're gonna get that horsepower by burning that more fuel. Now, the next thing you'll put on are these little tie down straps. What they do is go right here on our supercharger and it'll locate right off these little nut certs, our coil packs. So we'll tie down our fuel rails and we will take a break because when we come back, we've got a lot more parts and pieces to put together on this raft. So this Roush kit's almost done. I mean, not almost done, but I mean, we've got a lot done. We've got intakes a lot in done. there, right? Yeah. We've got the supercharger, coil packs, injectors. We've got the hose for the intercooler. Throttle body's in place. I mean, we're doing good. At this point, realistically, I think we're about 90% done, right? Yeah, we can finish off the air intake system. We'll put that in place. We got one from Roush as well, as well as the radiator. Now, this radiator is going to work with our intercooler to make sure we're in an optimum cold charge going into this motor, and that's how we're going to make some power. Now, the last piece of the puzzle in terms of making all this work and getting all the power out of this engine is you got to go ahead and have the PCM flashed. See, Roush goes ahead and builds a program from this thing that is going to make sure you're going to get the most power and fuel economy out of the truck. So there's no guesswork for you. All you have to do is, if you're doing this yourself, take out the PCM, box it up, send it to them, they'll flash it, send it back to you, you plug it in. And if you're doing, having it done at a local shop, they'll have the, all the capabilities they need to go ahead and flash it for you. Another cool thing that Roush is working on is a way for you to do all of that by using your smartphone. You can bypass a lot of the work and a lot of the time, right? That's, that's cool. a little scary for me. I mean, <laughs> these things, dude, they're starting to do a lot, but that's one of the positive things they can do. That'll be cool. All right, so we got to go ahead and finish buttoning all up the yep. stuff underneath the hood, then we can get the truck up in the air, and then it's time for that Roush exhaust. I guess that requires me to stop talking. Yes, it does for once. This new Roush exhaust will replace the factory resonator and muffler. That way it'll help get this vehicle the performance and the sound that it deserves. What I need to do right now is go ahead and make a cut right about here, just on the inside of this weld. That way we can reuse this factory flange. You got that? Yep. I'll All right. handle it. Well, Matt, it takes care of that. I want to show you guys how we're going to put the collector in and keep it in permanently. What we're going to do is utilize a Stage 8 locking fastener, collector bolts right here. Now, we use these all the time, and let me give you a little demo on how this works. So, you take the bolt and you run it down, tighten it up as you normally would, and then you take the locking retainer, you slip it over the head of the bolt, and you position it so it physically can't back up. It's bottomed out here right on the metal. You can't back the thing up, then you put the clip on the top and it secures it. it slips right over the head, and once you hear it and see it clip into place, you know that that faster is not going anywhere. You can't back it up, it can't physically loosen. So you never have to put a wrench on it, you never have to retighten it. All you gotta do is look, see that locking retainer's there, you know the part is gonna stay in place. And the guys at Stage 8 have locking fasteners for just about any application. So when you factor in all the additional horsepower that we put into this truck, all of these things will affect the braking on this truck. And as cool as it is, when it's stock, it still comes with the stock pads and rotors. We need to upgrade those. And the way we're going to upgrade is going to the PowerStop One Click Z36 Extreme Truck and Tow Package. And what you're going to get in that package is everything you see right here, which is two front rotors, we got two rear rotors, all the pads and all the hardware you need to make this truck stop correctly. We talk about performance of this rotor, first thing you'll see right here are these slots. What they're there for is to actually clean the brake pads and get the brake dust off so you have a nice clean surface to clamp to. If you look at the holes right here, they're there to dissipate heat, and I'm talking up to 200 degrees difference they can make. Now, Bruno, when you mentioned the product name earlier, you mentioned Z36 in that. And Z36 refers to the chemical makeup of the brake pad. There's new legislation out there called the Better Brake Rule, and that says they don't want any copper in the brake pads. So these pads are 100% copper free, which is good. So they're going to conform to all the legislation, and these power stop pads and rotors are going to give us all the stopping power we need for this truck. We work with the guys at Nitro Gear and Axle all the time when it comes to gearing or drivetrain issues, but it's funny because a lot of times you start talking about gear ratios and you lose people. You start throwing around numbers like 410 and they're like, what? What's that all about? So think about it as putting a bigger sprocket on your 10-speed bike and trying to ride up a bridge. It gets harder. So what do you do? You shift gears down to a smaller sprocket, right? That way you have to do less work to turn that tire. The same principle applies in gearing. So you change it up and let's say you'd go to a 488. 
What that means is now the drive shaft has to spin just under five times to get that rotation of that bigger tire. It's a little bit easier on the engine to provide that same amount of work. Now think about this. We already threw all that extra horsepower at the engine. Why would we want to negate that with a bigger tire and lose a little bit of performance when we can do a simple gear swap like we do with nitro gear and axle combined with all that extra horsepower and realistically we get the best of both worlds. For more information about anything you've seen in today's show, check out GACTV.com or visit our website at TruckUTV.com. So it's time now to give our Lady Lola a little love, and I'm talking about our 1967 LMC truck project vehicle that we're working on. So we've been doing a lot of upgrades to the interior of this truck, and one of the things you have to consider when you've got a truck that's 40-some years old is address the gauges, because over the course of time, they can appear like this. You've got rusting, you've got fading, and you've got sending units that go bad. Well, with LMC truck, you can get a direct replacement for your vehicle. Now with this truck, it is a one big cluster, it's on a panel. So you've got yellowing issues with your lenses or you've got sending units going bad or they're all scratched up, you can call them up and go ahead and get a brand new one that's gonna maintain that OE look if that's what you're looking for. But for us and for Lola, we're trying to bring her to the new millennium. So what we're gonna do is put in a brand new exclusive digital dash for this truck. So what we have to do is get this old one out of the way and we can put the new one in and this will change the whole look and appearance of the dash of this truck and it's gonna look good. Now the best part about this digital dash cluster is the speedometer is fully programmable to work with any tire size, gear ratios, or trans configuration. It's capable of registering speeds from 0 to 255 miles an hour. All the sending units for the digital readouts are included except for the fuel level sending unit. Imagine if you put a lift kit on your truck and larger wheels and tires. Now you can recalibrate the speedometer digitally and you're good to go. The dash cluster comes in four different LED colors and can mount in your oil pressure, water temp, voltage, odometer, and quarter mile times. These digital gauges work also with both six and eight cylinder engines with electronic ignition systems or breaker points. For the full story on exclusive digital LED dash clusters, check out LMC Truck's website. This tip is brought to you by LMC Truck. Restore, maintain, and customize your truck with parts and accessories from LMC Truck. Welcome back. One of the things we have not touched on yet on this particular truck are the Fusion bumpers that we have on the front and rear. These things look awesome. They're color matched to the vehicle and they are ridiculously tough. Yeah, they are. You know, this face plate here, all the gussets behind it, all the supports, they're all quarter inch thick steel, which is really strong, man. This thing's not going anywhere. You know, you've got a couple different options with this front bumper. You've got the pre-runner bar, which we opted for, as well as the tubular design here on the sides. Now, if you wanted, you could have went with that quarter inch face plate wrapping around here, but once again, we wanted that box how pre-runner look and this did a great job of accomplishing that and Matt wanted us to get go ahead and have these recovery hooks <laughs> we got that as well another cool thing is there's no welding or anything like that these bumpers are completely bolt-on and when you talk about the back one it's got all the provisions for the backup lights and this that the other so you can drop all those cool things in with no problem another cool thing up here on the front of the vehicle is this big RBP grill this makes the whole front end of the truck just look angry and yeah. I mean that in the nicest possible way. Yeah, right? and it's not just ornamental. This thing is made of some serious stuff. It's 304 stainless steel, double woven mesh steel in the middle. RBP has all the installation instructions and the hardware, everything you need for a grill like this. But this is not the only thing that RBP has that looks great on this truck. These are the Assassins. It's a lightweight, one-piece cast alloy wheel that looks phenomenal, man. Yeah, the guys at RBP took a good-looking wheel and customized it for us and took it to a whole different level, man. You've got the gloss black in here. The red matches the Raptor red on the truck. You know, you've got the machined accents all mounted up on 38s. This is a great finishing touch to this truck. Hey, and the Assassins are available in a bunch of different sizes, and they fit that 8 on 180 bolt pattern. So, you know, the deal is with the Assassins and the grill and the Fusion bumpers I think we've got a great look going all the way around this truck. Yeah. We want to take a break from our Raptor project for a minute because I want to show you guys one of the most neglected parts of your vehicle, and that's the headlights. Now, these are the Sylvania Silver Star Ultra Headlight Bulbs. And what's nice about these things is they're about 50% brighter than the worn out bulbs that you're probably driving around in, and that's huge. Yeah, it's a lot of light. You're talking about up to 50% more side road vision right there, and up to 40% more down the road vision. Now, what that means in real terms to you and I is about the size of a half a football field. That's a big deal. And this is a great option. It's from Sylvania, the Silver Star Ultra Headlight Bulbs. 
This is the big bed from Ericsson Manufacturing, and it's a great way to extend the usable capacity of your vehicle, especially if it's a short bed truck or a van or an SUV or something like that. You simply slide it right into the hitch and transform it. It's really easy to use, like Matt said. The thing is, there's no assembly. You initially put it in, you open it up, and you've got tons of options for that truck, whether you're hauling lumber or drywall or ladders or canoes, paddle boards, you name it, options are endless. And this is really nice because when you're all done, you simply fold it back down, and you are done. It goes back down into place. Now, when you're done, you simply slide it out of the hitch, transform it back down, put it in the garage underneath something else. It's small and compact. You won't even know it's there, right? It's the big bed from Ericsson Manufacturing. And like we said, it's a great way to extend the bed on a short truck or SUV or van. Now here's something we use all the time. It's the white diamond metal polish and sealant. You know, if you've got some metal on your vehicle or anywhere around the shop and it needs to have a little bit of new life breathed into it, this is how you do it. So aluminum, stainless steel, chrome, brass, it doesn't matter. This is going to make it look fantastic. And the best part is it's so easy to use. So you simply shake it up, mix up the chemicals inside, and pour it on a clean, dry cloth, and you rub it vigorously on the metal that you want to polish out. Now you'll get it to a point where it gets black. At that point, it is ready to rock. Let it dry for about a minute, and then get another dry, uh, soft cloth and polish it out and you're going to get excellent results. The best case was our buddy's trailer. We cleaned it all up. It looked kind of junky. Got it looking almost brand new like that and it looked great. We checked it out six months later. It still looked awesome. That's the way to do it. It's the white diamond metal polish and sealant and you've got it in the bottles and the handy wipes right there. This is Diesel Extreme from Hot Shot Secret. Basically what it is, it's a once or twice a year treatment for your diesel fuel. It'll pretty much make it a premium fuel. Now the guys at Hot Shot Secret, they take things to the next level. That's their deal, man. They give you a premium product that goes above and beyond what you see on the shelves. Here's an example. The Hot Shot Secret Diesel Extreme is something that you don't use every day, every week. It's something you do once or twice a year. It's like going to the dentist, right. getting a full plaque room of all that tartar all that's what they're going to do with your fuel system. And it's got a cetane booster in it that's going to bump the numbers up five to six numbers, which is huge in terms of power and performance in your diesel engine. All your lines, your injectors, everything, that's what it's all about. Now, a diesel repair can put you out some time and money. I mean, why waste all that when you can simply pour this in and potentially fix the problem? The guys at Hot Shot Secret are so confident that it'll fix it, they'll give you your money back if it doesn't. This segment is brought to you by Seatbelt Solutions, the safest seatbelt money can buy. We have been killing it today on this Raptor truck, man. We've got a ton of power underneath the hood, thanks to the guys at Roush. We've got an exhaust system underneath and brakes that can stop this thing on a dime. Now it's time to finish covering this thing up. Covering? I get it, right? Like that. Now we can come back here and show a little love to the backside, which is what we're going to do with the Emax soft folding tonneau cover from Xtang. You know what's cool is if you think about the evolution of the tonneau cover over the last couple of years, you know, at first you had the big solid hard ones, right? And they were cool, but they were big. And then you got the soft ones, and then you got the soft folding. But the deal was you still didn't have full access to the bed of the truck until now. Take a look at this, with this hinge up here. Let me pull this little wire, boom, my clip is done. Look at that. Now we've got all the benefits of a soft folding tonneau cover and full access to the bed. Yeah, it's nice because it can stay upright like this when you're driving down the road. It's nice and safe and secure. You know, it installs in just a few minutes. It's got the speed clamps so you can get access to it quickly. And the weather tough seals on it, man, makes this thing really a dream. Yeah, good tight feel all the way down. And like all of the other x -Tang products, it's all made right here in the USA, which is always cool with us, right? The last thing that we're going to install on this truck before we take it out are these neoprene seat covers that we got from Wet Okole Hawaii. Now these are waterproof, they're stain proof and snag proof. So it's perfect for the person with the active lifestyle. Now the fun starts when you go to the Wet Okole website and you start punching in your specific vehicle information. You tell them exactly what you have. Then you can start picking out the colors. You can even customize the color of the piping right there. You create it, you hit submit and then they build it. So it's custom built for your vehicle and they've got them for all different vehicles and you can get them for all the seats in your vehicle. One more thing and unofficially I think Okole is the Hawaiian word for butt. I just thought you'd like to know that. Oh hold on. Hit it a little bit. <laughs> nice. That sounds good, man. You know what that sounds like, dude? Freedom and fun. That's what it sounds like. We need to get this thing out of here. You know, we really do have to finish up the bracket on the inside of the grill, but I said Bracket, it. smack it, yeah. dude. It's time to go have some fun with this thing. I want to see you jump it, bro. So do I. Now, it's 
time to take the Raptor out and have some fun. If you look under the hood, you can see the Roush supercharger is fired up and ready to unleash the power. So let's let these ponies out of the gate. Keep in mind, the system comes with a standard three-year, 36,000-mile Roush parts warranty. But you can opt for the three-year, 36,000-mile complete powertrain warranty, which covers the engine to the axle, which we may want to do with the way we're going to drive this truck.